welcome to the channel. So, if you're from South Carolina, you know that down in Charleston, South Carolina, there is no supercharger. That's been going on for about three to four years, them saying that a supercharger is coming down to Charleston, South Carolina. Most people from South Carolina like to go visit Charleston, maybe go to the beach for the day, spend the weekend, or spend maybe a week. So, as you can imagine, most people who own a Tesla in South Carolina have been really waiting on these, these superchargers. There's been rumors about locations that it's going to be at. They're always saying that the supercharger is going to be built this year. And look, it's been about three to four years. Still no supercharger or any news of where it's actually going to be. But is that an issue for you to not go down to Charleston in your electric vehicle or your Tesla? No, it's not. I'm going to show you that it's very easy to go down for the day. So what do you do if there is no supercharger in the destination that you're going? Well, there's luckily there's a lot of apps out there. There's things like PlugShare and ChargePoint that you can use to find any types of chargers that are out there. There's a lot of alternative charging that can be found using these apps. We typically use this when we go somewhere like the mountains or a lot more rural areas where there's less charging infrastructure there's usually no superchargers. The great thing about these apps is that you can use filters to filter what kind of charging plugs uh, that you actually have that are compatible with your vehicle. Like for example, for me, using an SAE adapter or a Tesla charger or a 1450 NEMA. Another great thing about these apps is the fact that there's customer reviews, user reviews, um, they will tell you whether or not the chargers are in good condition, if they work, if they don't work, if they're getting proper um, current from them and things like that. They usually also post pictures. They'll tell you whether or not there's anything good to eat around it or things to do. And then they also um, typically check in when they're using them. So this is really great. You can easily make a plan pretty much anywhere you go. As you can see, Charleston has a lot of alternative chargers that are there. Okay, you can see it here with all the chargers that are on plug share. You can also see it here with the chargers filtered for what I need for my Charleston day trip that we took last Saturday. So when planning a trip, you're going to use information like that. Then you're going to use things like the website abetterroutplanner.com. Betterroutplanner.com lets you put in your vehicle type all the way down to the make and model so that you can understand what your range is. And what you can do is you can actually add multiple stops throughout your day. Doing this, you can get an accurate understanding of what battery percentage you're gonna have when you get back home or if you need to stop and make any additional charging. So as you can see here, this was our route plan. So Folly Beach from Columbia, South Carolina. Same, we'll get there with 52%. We started out with uh, somewhere around 97% battery. We start out with around 296 uh, miles of range. And so we will see how much uh, percent battery we have when we actually get there. So we started our trip down, we had 97% battery and we left the house in the morning at eight o'clock in the morning, right on schedule. Let me tell you, if you haven't taken a trip in your Model 3, you need to go do it. It is a lot of fun, you'll highly enjoy it. You have things like the great surround sound system. You can listen to good music on your way down. Use things such as autopilot, which makes long distance travel so much easier. You just don't feel as, as much fatigue when you use autopilot because you're not loading with the steering wheel, pressing on the pedal the whole time. So when you get to your destination, you really feel like you've just been right. You do have to pay attention a little bit, but you do get to see things maybe on the side of the road that you don't normally get to see with your gas meters. And you'll notice things that you haven't seen before if you've taken a trip in the past. I also want to bring up uh, one more thing about these apps plug share and charge point. You can also use them for trips that are going to be many days long. They also show you hotels that have different chargers, so you can get an understanding which hotels have which types of chargers. And if you can't find a hotel with a charger, well, what you can do is always typically a lot of restaurants, bars, and sometimes even city parking that has chargers. And these chargers are also on these apps, plug share and charge point. Once you get to your destination, 
you can rely on Tesla navigation to get you where you're going. Roll the windows down and take a breath of that ocean air. Next thing you know, you're on the beach soaking up some vitamin D. When we got there, the beach was popping. There was a lot of people there. The beach had just opened two days previously. But even with it being really busy, the tide out the way it was, there wasn't anybody within 20 feet of anyone else. That made us feel really comfortable in these crazy times. Now, as the tide started coming in, people started getting a little more clumped together. That's when we decided that it was time to go. Luckily for us, we were on a schedule, and that tide started coming up exactly when our schedule had us for us leaving and going to get something to eat and charging our car. So we had planned on going to Brewer and Brett Baker's. This is a little pizza joint. It has chargers, a craft beer, some really delicious pizza. They're also the owners of Holy City Brewery. It's a little local craft brewery down in Charleston, South Carolina. And if you like craft beer, I highly recommend you go there and try it out. The weather was great, and because of the crazy times that we're in, no one was allowed to eat inside the restaurant. It was only for to-go's and eating out on the porch. They had their porch set up, spaced apart. We went in, got us a pizza, had a beer, waited in our car to charge. We were there for about an hour and a half and we got 20% charged since they had the Tesla wall charger set up in the back. Before we knew it, we were on our way home and then next thing we knew, we were in Columbia again. And we had plenty of miles left on the car. All right, we got here with 54 miles left. That was a good trip. So I hope you enjoyed this video. So if you like this video, please hit the like button. Think about subscribing. You can see future videos from me. It's free to you. I like to post videos of this journey with my Tesla Model 3. And we'll see you in the next one. Remember to be kind. Internet Daily is coming due for vaccines or healthcare services at Shandon Wood Animal Clinic. Please call us to schedule your appointment. Thank you.